Sarah is here. Holy shit. Oh, famously called film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay this i'm in class everything's cool i'm okay from light to shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black i didn't fall asleep and that Maybe sure like didn't it. feel like a dream Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Your Jefferson? Is a hopeless face I can hear the class like laughing at me now. By the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I should take a She's picture to prove I'm still portrait, here. Right? Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Wait, what? Extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. By Robert Cornelius. Look at this crap. How can I show this? In your textbook. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. You guys, don't forget but the deadline. I like it old school. Photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Oh, no. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Dang, it's a lot of money. Just by the camera. Mr. Jefferson, I just.
just worked so hard in the shelf course. course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. Mm -hmm. You have just been participating. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera. I am. Everybody should. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying off. You always Welcome to the real world. That's cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. I feel like you have to pass it. Doesn't that test everybody to see how hip she is? Show your blush. Would you place it so shy? I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that guy. It's so fucking boring. Having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. <laughs> Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. this every day. Kid. 
I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. The French and I need time to save that girl. The process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again Garyan and give him the right answer? Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Oh, that's cool. The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you, I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. 
I'd never let one of photographers... I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. They used Pacino. Here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. You look a I can distracted. never figure out what he's thinking. Are you okay? Does just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. 
Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. This day has been so insane. Everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Oh, 
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> awesome. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <laughs> Convenient. Ah, what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. this 
sound. No. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining no. my album. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Sorry, that's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Sweet. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. 